Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial or information about using transparent spray paint. The first time I was introduced to transparent paint was in 2006 when I was visiting my friend in Hong Kong. Big up to the man like Delphi. I don't know why, but here in China I've heard people say that transparent paint is cheating. It's a very strange concept. Actually, transparent paint really allows you to be a bit more versatile. The first time I used it, I can't say I fell in love with it, but um, I realized the potential. And I'm an advocate of using transparent paint for a lot of different projects. Some people just use it for adding a drop shadow on their piece. Whereas for me, I think I, I tend to use it for a whole range of things whether it's adding a drop shadow on the outside of my letters, whether it's with characters, whether it's with shapes and fading depth and so on. Caps can be an issue. Um, I've tried experimenting with different ones and perhaps the best I've found has got to be like a soft skinny cap or the orange dot. This video is nothing serious, so what I'm painting, just you can ignore it. Um, it's just a reference uh, as to what I'm talking about. Perhaps one of the greatest advantages of using transparent paint, whether with characters or letters, is that you don't need to take as many colors with you because transparent paint, depending on how many coats you give, can give your piece serious depth just by using the original colour and transparent colour. If you're painting and it's a chill day, just take your time. Just layer, let it dry, layer, let it dry. It does tend to dry a little slower. So when layering, you really need to be a bit more patient. As you can see on um, part of this, the black transparent color and my color that I put over the top kind of like bleed into each other and little black bubbles appear. Perhaps the biggest disadvantage is transparent paint is always glossy. So if you're using a matte outline, which many paints are these days, you're going to see a reflection where you've used the transparent paint. So use a gloss outline color if you don't want to see as many changes of color. little and often, don't spray too much. Perhaps the best brand I've tried for black is Montana Gold, although the Alien cans um, were wonderful. I think that was called the Expectra. Certainly when painting skin tones, um, the depth that can be created using transparent paints is quite remarkable. There's some really good advantages to using transparent paints. It's 
not for everybody, but if you want to add a little dimension, then certainly transparent paints is the paint for you. Just learn how to work it. So I think overall, if you use it carefully, don't over layer, um, find a cap where you can spray lightly and quickly, you'll be okay. If you can think of any maybe tutorial or any example videos I can give, um, please just uh, leave a message and I'll try to um, arrange it for you. If you like what we're doing, hit a like and subscribe.